Have you ever mistaken a whippet for an Italian greyhound? Confused an Alaskan Malamute for a Siberian Husky? You're not alone. In this video, we have listed 10 dog breeds that are often mistaken for one another and how to tell them apart. Number 10, Alaskan Malamute and Siberian Husky. Alaskan Malamutes and Siberian Huskies were both developed as working dogs for cold, snowy climates. Hence their thick, double layer coats. Both breeds are relatively common in the US today, but their places of origin differ. Alaskan Malamutes were first used by the Inuit of the Malamute tribes, native to Alaska, for hunting and hauling large game. Siberian Huskies, meanwhile, were first bred by the Chukchi people of Northeast Asia and were used as endurance sled dogs. So how can you tell them apart? The easiest difference to spot is their tails. A Malamute's pluming tail curls over its back, while a Husky's tail does not curl to either side of the body, nor does it snap flat against the back. Number nine, Boston Terrier and French Bulldog. The Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog, or Frenchie, are both small breeds with pricked ears and adorable flat faces, so they can often be confused with each other. These cases of mistaken identity are understandable, given that the breeds were both created using the English Bulldog. You can distinguish a Boston Terrier from a Frenchie by color or body shape. Boston Terriers have a distinct black and white tuxedo pattern that includes white on their faces. Boston Terriers also have longer legs and are a bit slimmer than Frenchies. Number eight, Whippet and Italian Greyhound. Both the Whippet and the Italian Greyhound look like miniature greyhounds with sleek, slender bodies and narrow heads. Both breeds are from the same family of dogs, known as sight hounds, and they likely share a common ancestor. The breed we know as the Italian Greyhound originated in the Middle Ages, when Italians began importing small sight hounds in mass. In contrast, the Whippet development began in 18th century England, when they were known as the Poor Man's Greyhound. The main difference between the two breeds is size. The Whippet is 18 to 22 inches tall at the shoulder, while the Italian Greyhound is only 13 to 15 inches tall. Number seven, Lhasa Apso and Shih Tzu. The Lhasa Apso and the Shih Tzu are two of the most difficult breeds to tell apart, and that's because their ancestries are closely intertwined. Most people believe that Shih Tzu is actually the result of a cross between a Lhasa Apso and a Chinese breed, either the Pug or the Pekingese. Lapsa Apsos are ancient Tibetan dogs, and we know that Tibetan leaders frequently gave small dogs to Chinese royalty. It takes a trained eye to distinguish a Lapsa Apso from a Shih Tzu, but the most obvious difference is in their faces. Lhasa Apsos have longer snouts. Another way to tell the breeds apart is to pet them. The Shih Tzu has a softer, silky coat, while the Lhasa Apso has a hard coat. Number six, Belgian Malinois and German Shepherd Dog. The Belgian Malinois and the German Shepherd Dog are similar sizes and have similar coloring. To make matters even more confusing, both breeds often do police and military work. But the origins of these breeds are quite different. The Belgian Malinois was developed in Belgium as a herding dog, and in modern times, he is adapted to service work. The German Shepherd Dog, on the other hand, was bred to be a utility dog from the beginning. A German military captain began developing the breed in the late 1800s, prioritizing utility and intelligence. Visually, you can distinguish these breeds by their builds. The Malinois is more slender and his body is about as long as tall. The German Shepherd dog, on the other hand, is longer than he is tall and has a more robust frame. Number five. Cairn Terrier and Norwich Terrier. The Cairn Terrier and the Norwich Terrier can be difficult to distinguish, especially if they happen to be the same color, like red or Wheaton. Both breeds were developed in the United Kingdom for the purpose of hunting rats and other small animals. While the Cairn Terrier was developed in the Western Isles of Scotland, the Norwich Terrier was developed in a rural region of England called East Anglia, which includes the town of Norwich. 
One of the key differences between the two breeds is that the Norwich Terrier has shorter legs, a fine attribute for catching rats. Color can sometimes distinguish the breeds as well. A black and tan coat indicates a Norwich, while an all black, gray, or silver coat indicates a cairn. Number four, Collie and Shetland Sheepdog. It's not uncommon for people to refer to the Shetland Sheepdog as a miniature Collie, but they are distinct breeds. Collies are larger, weighing 50 to 75 pounds and standing 22 to 26 inches tall. Shelties, as they're nicknamed, weigh 20 to 25 pounds and stand 13 to 16 inches tall. A collie has a long, lean muzzle. The Shelties' head is shorter and has a more blunt wedge shape. Both come in sable, tricolor, or blue merle coats, but collies can also be white with colored markings. Number three, Great Pyrenees and Cuvaz. Both of these dogs are large, white, flock guardian breeds. At first glance, it can be difficult to tell them apart, but noticing subtle differences can help you look like a pro. The Cuvaz, a Hungarian breed, is white with no markings, while the Great Pyrenees, who hails from France, is white, but may have gray, badger, reddish brown, or tan markings on his ears, head, face, tail, or body. The Great Pyrenees is slightly larger and potentially taller, standing 25 to 32 inches and weighing 85 to 120 pounds. The Cuvage usually weighs between 70 and 115 pounds, is 26 to 30 inches tall, and has a wavier coat than the Great Pyrenees. Number two, Maltese and Coton de Tuliar. You might say that these two breeds are cousins. They are each members of the far-flung Bichon family of dogs, and each is small with a long white coat but the resemblance largely ends there. The Coton de Tuliar, a member of the non-sporting group, is larger and sturdier, weighing eight to 15 pounds. His coat has a cotton-like texture. The Petite Maltese, who belongs to the toy group, weighs four to six pounds and has a silky coat. Number one, Miniature Pincher and Manchester Terrier. Both of these breeds have a smooth coat that can be black with tan markings, but the Min Pin comes in other colors as well, including red or chocolate and tan. Another way you can tell them apart is by looking at the way the dog walks. Min Pins tend to have a distinctive high-stepping gait, while the Manchester is more likely to have a smoother gait without the hackney movement shown by the Min Pin. Min Pins are a toy breed and weigh 7.5 to 11 pounds. Manchesters, which belong to the Terrier group, are found in two sizes, toy and standard. The toy Manchester weighs up to 12 pounds. The standard typically weighs 13 to 22 pounds. So that was it. Now it's your turn. Which other dog breeds look alike? Let us know in the comments. Here's some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you later.